Hi everybody, let's see what the upcoming weekend has in store for you. It could be about love, finances, events, trips, anything. Please subscribe and hit the bell to get notified. Let's begin. This spread is for all earth signs. Perhaps your story isn't here, but there's also a separate spread just for your sign. We have the High Priestess, we have the Page of Pentacles, we have the Four of Swords, then we have the Moon clarified by the Fool, and we have the Ten of Cups on the bottom of the deck. You could be dealing with uh, Pisces. So um, somebody's going to come forward with this Page of Pentacles offer. It's a small offer, but it's a solid offer, it's a grounded offer. And uh, I think the person on the receiving end of this offer will realize that the intentions of the person making the offer are very serious and grounded. And since this person is coming forward with an offer, most likely uh, this person wants a family or a committed relationship. Right? Because the, they'll most likely present this offer in a way that uh, it'll be clearer what their intentions are. And that will trigger whoever is on the receiving end to sort of uh, go into a hibernation <laughs> or to meditate and to just spend some time thinking about it, whether they want to pursue this or not. So the Four of Swords in this case is all about taking a break. And uh, the Moon is either a Pisces you're dealing with or this is all about fears of the unknown. Right? You don't know whether you want to get into it, or what's ahead of you, or you're just afraid that if you do get into this committed relationship, what happens if it doesn't work out with this person, you know, something like that, something along those lines. The High Priestess on the first card on the left advises you to use your intuition, yes, and I think that's exactly what you'll be um, contemplating in your head. And uh, the, the Moon card is clarified by the Fool, so the Fool is all about taking a leap of faith. Um, and uh, it could go vice versa, it could be you making an offer to someone, or it could be someone making an offer to you. The Page of Pentacles is a very solid and grounded offer, like I said, it represents Earth. So perhaps this person is uh, structuring their offer in the way that you, an Earth sign, would understand. Or in case if this is you making an offer, then it makes sense, right? Because it's a page of pentacles. What's on the line here is the Ten of Cups on the bottom of the deck. This is a committed relationship or this is the family. So yeah, like I said, whoever is on the receiving end will realize that if they do get into this relationship or if they do uh, get this show on the road, then most likely it's all about uh, very grounded and a very... Uh, serious and a committed relationship that's what this person wants right so uh, there is a hesitation here and uh, like I said the reason for that could be uh, this person is not sure if they want to get into a relationship or if they don't they want to get into a relationship with uh, whoever is making the offer so hopefully there will be a breakthrough or progress at some point because the ten of cups is a really good card to have it really is. It's a very uh, positive and a happy and abundant card. So, um, yeah, think about it and make a decision. Taurus. We have the Page of Swords, we have the Two of Pentacles, the Ace of Pentacles, and we also have the Devil on the bottom of the deck. And I couldn't help it but look uh, the next card at the next card after the Devil, and it's the Lovers. So you could be dealing with a Gemini as well. So this weekend is going to be all about making some kind of a decision here and it's going to be something very very tempting that uh, you'll have to decide upon or you're dealing with um, a Capricorn the devil card is the personal Capricorn card right or this is like I said something very very tempting the devil often represents something toxic or codependent but I don't think that's the case here. I don't see anything else. I'm not feeling it. It's all about some kind of a temptation. <laughs> We've got the uh, Page of Swords. The Page of Swords is most likely some kind of a communication coming from uh, your uh, love interest. Right? That's going to be a very straightforward, very direct communication, especially if you're dealing with a Gemini because it's an air sign. And the Page of Swords is an air. is associated with air. 
um, this person will make you an offer with the Ace of Pentacles that will be really, really hard to resist. Hence the Devil card and hence the Lovers card. So um, the Two of Pentacles and the Lovers, it's all about you making a decision. You are thinking about it, contemplating, um, but the offer is so, so tempting. <laughs> so yeah. The Ace of Pentacles is a golden opportunity card. It could literally change your life. It could literally uh, take you to the next level or um, transform something for you. It's uh, all about um, you know taking your relationship to the next level if you are already in a relationship, or perhaps if you're dating casually, it could be all about uh, you know making it official, official or making it. Um, exclusive um, so yeah it'll be a dilemma for you it'll be a problem but I think it's a good problem to have Taurus because there's somebody really interested in you that's why they're coming forward with the ace of Pentacles so it's up to you what you want to do here Taurus think about it and let them know Virgo, we have the Ten of Pentacles, we have the Ace of Pentacles, then we have the Ace of Wands, and we have the Seven of Wands on the bottom of the deck. Um, so we have uh, two Pentacle cards and two Wands cards. So this is Earth and Fire. There, I can interpret this spread uh, several different ways, but um, just stay with me. Both of them are kind of, I think they're positive. So you see how we have the Ace of Pentacles and the Ace of Wands, but those two Aces are facing each other. So there could be a disconnect between you and this person you're dealing with. One of you wants something very grounded, very serious, but the other one just wants to have fun or they're all about passion here. So there is some kind of a collision here. See, the Ace of Pentacles is facing the Ace of Wands. The good news is that you're still going to get this uh, show on the road but uh, what I suggest is that the two of you should set the record straight right away just make sure you understand where this relationship is going both of you want to be together but I th you you could be on different levels or your understanding of the nature of this relationship could differ right or another way to interpret this spread is uh, there is no collision <laughs> it's all about um, somebody really wanting to get you or you wanting to get somebody somebody into a relationship you, somebody one of you whoever is making this offer is going to be throwing all these offers all these ideas at the other person the ace of pentacles is all about a golden opportunity and the ace of wands is a passionate new beginning right so this offer is uh is hot and spicy basically right the ace of pentacles is grounded uh, is a grounded offer it's all about you know establishing something solid but at the same time passion wouldn't hurt <laughs> i really like the ten of pentacles here ten of pentacles is all about a very stable relationship the type of a relationship that could become marriage right um, this is the type of a relationship where people buy real estate together and some people call the ten of pentacles is the marriage card right and since we have the seven of ones on the bottom of the deck whoever is making the offer is gonna uh, really insist in a good way that the other person should uh, get into a relationship with them and I think they will prevail they will use different um, ideas different um, ways to prove it to the other person right they will push their agenda through <laughs> in a good way in a very positive way so this spread is positive no matter how I look at it um, but if uh, you just got to make sure you're on the same page here all right and uh, if you are on the same page then the, whoever is making the offer will you know make sure that they push their agenda through and get that person the second person into this relationship all right Virgo cool 
Capricorn, we have the Eight of Cups, we have the Lovers, we have the Seven of Swords, then we have the Eight of Wands clarified by the Eight of Swords, and we have the Nine of Cups on the bottom of the deck. You could be dealing with uh, Gemini. So the Lovers is either a Gemini you're dealing with or somebody is going to have to make a choice over the weekend. I don't know Capricorn if it's going to be you or the person you're dealing with, but um, what's interesting here is that we have the Seven of Swords, this is a card of a cheater, this is a card of a deception, this is a card of um, somebody who is up to no good. And uh, whoever it is, I think that's the person in the Nine of Cups on the bottom of the deck. So, uh, what we could what you could be uh, looking at here is uh, if somebody could be making a decision whether they should uh, start a relationship with you or start a relationship with somebody else. So the lovers is the choice card. Or if you are already in a relationship with somebody then that person could be making a choice should they stay with you or should they go with another person. There's clearly an intruder, there's clearly a seducer here. That's the person in the Nine of Cups on the bottom of the deck. Right, so the lovers is either a Gemini, like I said, you're dealing with, or this person is making a decision. Should they stay with you, or should they leave you for this new person? We've got the Eight of Wands clarified by the Eight of Swords. I was trying to get an outcome. Uh, but uh, unfortunately, it's pretty much repeating the whole spread. So the 801s is the communication here. So somebody is going to be communicating something to either you or the person you are already involved with. And that will put that person into a stuck situation here uh, with the Eight of Swords. And it's the same situation that the whole spread is all about. It's possible that uh, this is you who is uh, presented with this dilemma, should you stay or should you go with the new person, or it could be vice versa, or reversed, or however you want to, uh, however is, it's applicable to your situation. But there will be a choice um, this weekend that somebody is going to have to make. Alright Capricorn? Cool. And there you have it. I hope my readings resonated with you and if they did, I hope they make your lives better in one way or the other. Please share and subscribe and hit the bell to get notified. Thank you for watching.